Hi there, thanks for joining me. We're going to be talking about a serious issue in econometrics, which is that of omitted variable bias. You can read my writing there. So what omitted variable bias essentially means is that consider that we had some population process which connected an individual's level of wages with their level of education. So individuals which have higher levels of education tend to have higher wages and also included a measure of an individual's innate ability. So you can think about this ability term as perhaps containing sort of their ability at academic subjects, for example. The problem with reality is even though we would like to estimate this true relationships, sometimes we don't actually have access to all of the variables or sometimes actually we forget or we don't think that they're important so we don't include them. So perhaps we don't have access to an individual's innate ability which seems like quite a likely thing to um, suppose because there are no sort of accepted measures of innate ability because you sort of get into a definitional problem with how do you actually define an individual's innate ability to begin with. So let's say we actually just estimate the following. So we regress an individual's wages on the number of years of education. Well, notice that in our sort of estimated error here, Implicitly, we're including a measure of an individual's innate ability because we're not including it in the regression itself. Now let's think about what the zero conditional mean of errors assumptions actually means. Well, it means that the expectation of V, our estimated error here, given an individual's education, the X variable in this case, has got to be equal to zero. And we said another way of writing that is that the covariance between V and an individual's level of education has got to be equal to zero. But notice that we said that V here contains a sort of measure of an individual's innate ability. So we need to find out whether education, our X variable, is correlated with an individual's level of innate ability. So we can do this by means of sort of a scatter plot. So ability versus education. There is a relatively accepted um, theory, which is that individuals which have a sort of higher academic ability tend to choose to spend longer in education. And that kind of makes sense, right? If someone's more interested in sciences um, than someone else, then they might choose to spend longer uh, time at education learning about the sciences. So there is some sort of positive correlation between these two variables. Note that it's not exact, but there is some sort of positive correlation between the two variables. And um, because of that, that means that the covariance between V, which contains ability, so when you see V here, read ability, and education does not equal zero, which means in turn that the expectation of V, given someone's individual level of education, does not equal zero. So we have got a violation of the Gauss-Markov assumption. And it's quite a serious one. Under this violation, it means that least squared estimators of, in this case, beta 1, will be biased. So what do we mean by something being biased? Well, we mean that if we were to take repeated samples from the population, so we got some sort of sampling distribution of the least squared estimator, let's call it beta 1 hat, well, this distribution would not be centered around the true population parameter, beta p. It might be something which you call beta star. So it's not going to be exactly equal to beta p. So there is a degree of bias in this estimator. So essentially, if we were to take loads and loads of estimates from, uh, so if we were to take loads and loads of samples from our population, then on average, we would estimate this parameter incorrectly. Well, you can ask, well, in which way will we misattribute, misattribute the um, return on one year's education to wages? Will it be upwardly biased, as I sort of indicated here, or will it be downwardly biased? Well, you can think about it quite intuitively. Because education and ability are positively correlated, 
if I forget to include ability in my estimated equation, essentially education is going to be doing some of the work of our variable for an individual's innate ability. So it's going to be taking some of the credit away from this beta 2 in our true population process. So that means that our least squared estimator of beta 1 is actually going to be upwardly biased, just as I indicated here.